All right, guys, Mark Graham, Gorilla Grills here. Um, nice sunny day, so this is a good opportunity to launch our new toy, the umbrella. So one of the things that we talked about when we came out with the Pro Card is that we wanted to add some stuff to it later. We pre-positioned some holes in the, in the legs down here with, and capped them off because we wanted to add some stuff later. We had this bracket available for a while, but we actually sold out of the carts, so we didn't want to launch it quite yet, but finally the carts are back in stock and it was a great time to go ahead and launch this. So what you're going to get with this umbrella holder is you get your little box here. You're going to get some instructions, of course. Two stainless steel bolts and nuts. And then inside here, and this is something we make here right at our factory, we've got a tube with a laser cut bracket that's sent over to our powder coat uh, facility. This thing simply bolts on the back here, and if you want to come around, I'll show you in a second. So in the back corner, this corner makes the most sense because it gets above your hopper and your controls. You simply pop out those little plastic uh, buttons, mount this thing right here. Um, at that point, you can accept up to an inch and a quarter diameter pole. So if you got your favorite football team, you got your umbrella, one that you take to the beach, it fits perfectly in here. And uh, man, it, I'll get up in the top in it and show you how well it works. But one of the things you'll notice is that it goes in between the two here. And it is kind of nice if you have one that has like a plastic bottom like this one does, because it does rest on that bracket. One of the reasons we didn't take it all the way to the ground is the fact that if you want to move this thing around, it's kind of nice that it's up here. You can actually tow your grill in and out, which we do here all the time. You don't have to worry about lifting it up out of the ground and move it around. So it's designed to sit on that bracket on purpose. But if you get one that's got metal on the bottom, just find something to cushion that so it doesn't scratch up the paint. But again, your standard uh, umbrella is about an inch and a quarter diameter, and it fits really nice in here. So up top, what's good for bowl people is I can stand underneath here and not get cooked like I did last week at Bamacue. I got smoked in the heat. Um, also, we see a lot of people cooking in the rain and all that stuff. So this thing's positioned pretty well over the hopper, and it does both of those for you, man. You're getting burnt. You can be out here and save yourself. You want to cook in the rain. You don't have to get tricky with bags and stuff. It helps the rain. And of course, you got your favorite football team. Um, go ahead and uh, throw it. They got tons of these things on Amazon, by the way. You can get Michigan, Michigan State, whatever one you're a, you're a fan of. If you want to do the Lions, man, the Lions rock. So if you want, if you're a big fan of the Lions, get yourself a Lions umbrella, which I don't know if I get one of those. But anyway, I won't go there. So again, this is just one of the little things that we're working on for the Pro Carp. We talked about having some fun accessories. Sorry, it took a little time to get here, but we didn't anticipate selling out of the Pro Carp so quick. Um, to go along with that, we do have the Gorilla wheels in stock again, so we have that pro set up for the Gorilla as well. So anyway, great sunny day, to, uh, perfect timing to launch this new uh, umbrella. We're pretty excited about it. It is on our website. It's $29.99, and if you just go in the accessories under Silverback, you'll find it right there. And uh, they're in stock, ready to rock and roll. So with that being said, a couple of the other things I wanted to announce. Uh, Jen and I did a little thing there for a while where we were going around to some local restaurants and meeting with people that are using the grills for their, their establishments. What we're gonna do next week and probably the next couple weeks is actually go to some places uh, like butcher shops that sell the meat and or process the meat. Got a good friend of mine at Blue Star Meat and uh, he uh, invited us to come over there while he's processing some pigs and some, uh, some cattle. So we're gonna take the time to go over there and watch him do this. And uh, he'll really be able to help explain, even to me, you know, when you, where's those spare ribs come from out of the pigs and all, where does the brisket come from? So what I hope I can do is give you the big picture of where these cuts of meat come from and it'll be just something good I can share to everybody out there. And of course, we'll try to showcase some of the local um, butcher shops that sell the meat um, as well as Rob does, Rob does there too. But um, boy, this is where you're getting your meat from. You want to get good quality meat, you want to have a good quality smoker, get some good quality food. So hopefully we'll tie all that together and uh, learn some stuff along the way. Um, that's pretty much all I got for today perfect day to use the umbrella so check it out grillagirls.com uh, under the accessories under the silverback umbrella holder $29.99